Hi all, my name is Praveen Balan. Today we are going to speak about Microsoft Teams. In specific, the meeting options. We all conduct many meetings. We create meetings left and right, send it to colleagues, send it to people outside the organization, inside the organization, and they forward it to somebody else. And at the end, the meeting will become mess at times we are going to take a look at all the options that you have got before starting a meeting during the meeting and also some of the features that you can even set post a meeting is over so if you like such videos do not forget to subscribe the channel also hit on the reminder button so that you get notified on the new videos when i release them Let's create a meeting request. You will not get the meeting options until you send a meeting invite if you're using a Mac device. Now let us take a look at from where we can navigate over to the meeting options. If you have sent it from a Mac device, you can go back to the send items and open the send meeting request. You will have a meeting options there or else you can either go to the Teams calendar or onto the Outlook calendar and then open the meeting request and if it is in Teams you have to go and edit and then you can see the meeting options right top corner of the control buttons and if you're doing it from a Windows PC you can straight away start a Teams meeting and you can go to meeting options right from there in addition once you insert a meeting Teams Microsoft Teams meeting then you will also get a settings button right into the team meetings ribbon and you can set the meeting options from there as well. So we will go through all these options in detail but we will go from the teams meeting calendar. This will be common for if you are using it from a Mac or a Windows machine. Some of the options are pr pretty straightforward. Now the first option who can bypass the lobby you can set what you really need. Do you want everyone to bypass in a way you don't want to admit anybody. If it's a large meeting, it may not be possible to admit every people. So basically, we are playing up, playing with the identity of the people who are attending the meeting. So the next one, do you want the caller to bypass the lobby? And the third one, do you want to get bust whenever somebody joins and going out of the meeting? And the next one is, I will say one of the most important factor in any meetings. Who do you want to present or who can present? See basically this is the place where we need to understand the role of each member in a meeting. So let's take a look at the capabilities or the permissions levels of each participants. I have already pasted a URL part of this description. You can go through it in detail but I will quickly go through and let you know why this option is very important. So, so in Teams, there are three types of capabilities. One is the organizer capability, the second one is presenter capability and the third one is attendee capability. So, if you want to differentiate between the presenter and the organizer, the only option that the presenter does not have when compared to the organizer is managing a breakout room and changing the meeting options so if you said who can present to everyone which means everybody in the meeting has almost every privilege it is very very important that we set the permissions the meeting options before we start the meeting and here i go with specific people only set to those people who you want to be the presenter in the meeting rest all participants will be joining the meeting as an attendee and the next one do you want to allow mic for the attendees? Again, the point to be noted, do you want to allow mic to the attendees? Which means the presenter and the organizer will have the capability to mute and unmute. These two settings are specifically for the attendees. If you want, you can enable it. Otherwise, do not enable it. And the other one is record automatically. If you are sure that this meeting is going to be recorded in any way enable the recording option right before the meeting itself so that you will not miss the meeting as a recording and the next one allow meeting chat do you want the meeting chat to be allowed 
this is also very important you know i have experienced many times that the meeting will end and the people will keep on chatting on the same meeting chat after the meeting is finished so do you want the chat to be enabled during the meeting and also after the meeting you'll have to set it right here so i usually give only allow chat during the meeting the moment the meeting is ended the chat is disabled for all if you set in meeting only then do you want to allow the reactions you want reactions during the meeting you can enable it once you set all that save it and then this gets updated for the whole session even before you start the session Microsoft Teams or Microsoft allows a lot of control even during the Teams meeting so that to ensure a smooth conducting of a meeting. You know, as we have rightly mentioned, rightly said that the recording must be started the moment that we start the meeting. So the recording is started. And now if you look at the presenters are only two because we specifically assigned the permissions as a presenter. The other person is joined as an attendee. And in attendee, you have got multiple other options like allow mic, disable camera because we allowed the camera only disable the mic. So if you want them to speak, you can allow mic, you can spotlight, you can also make them as a presenter. And if you want to go to the meeting options right from the meeting. So for example, I'm going to make only me as the presenter. Let's save it and see the difference in the participants list. You can see that now it is only me who is the presenter all others are just the attendee in the meeting very simple to modify the permissions of every attendee in the meeting even during the meeting itself if you go back to the participants and click on the three dots you have mute all options and then allow mic for everybody download the attendance list and if you feel like you want to log the meeting after a certain period for example you've set a meeting at 11 o'clock and you want to log the meeting at 11.10. You do not want anybody else to join to the meeting again. You can log the meeting. The next one, the reactions. What if you see a lot of reactions happening in the meeting which is distracting the purpose of the meeting? You can disable the reaction even during the meeting itself. The raising hand option will still be available with all participants even if you disable the reactions. And the next one is chat you know we have allowed the chat during the meeting what if you want to disable the chat even during the meeting you can do that as well from the same meeting options the the next one you see the end meeting options you have two options as an organizer if you end the meeting that will end the meeting for all participants all attendees in the meeting but this permissions is only with the organizer not with the presenters so if you are ending the meeting which means it will end for everybody if you leave the meeting the meeting will continue to happen but you will just exit from the meeting we have discussed that we can also modify some of the settings even after the meeting is ended so now if you remember we have disabled the chat during the meeting and missed to enable it when we ended the meeting and the others cannot send any messages and if you want to enable the chat again you can go back to the same meetings options and enable the chat enable it and save it and the meeting chat is going to be enabled back for all the people hope you enjoyed the video and it, it was informative in it then do not forget to hit the like button subscribe the channel and hit on the reminder button so that you get notified on the new videos and finally do share your experience as a comment and tips if you have any to conduct a meeting in much more effective manner that will benefit the people who are going to watch this video and time for us to wind up and I will be back with another video till then this is Praveen Balan signing off bye